Strava over the last few years has been improving their fitness and freshness slash training load feature. Um, it's been getting progressively better and better. They've been adding more and more to it. So today I want to review it, talk about it, um, talk about whether it's worth it or not, and give my feedback. So first of all, you used to get this feature if you were paying $20 a year for Strava's Summit analysis. Now, they've combined all their analyses in one, so you have to pay for all of them, so all three, so it's like 60-some dollars a year to have Strava's analysis. But let's talk about this fitness and freshness, um, whether it's good, what it compares to, and what kind of interesting data it tells you. So first, let's start out on the mobile device, then we'll get to the web, and then let's compare it to some other pieces of software. All right, let's dig in. So when I click this little button in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to get to this tab called training. The training tab is going to A, show me my monthly activities and you can see the orange line is current and the gray line is my past month. So it's showing me like how am I comparing to my previous month. So right there I can get an idea whether I'm improving or, or not improving. Then I have a training log which shows me my workouts for the week. You can see that little black and gray dot that says two. That means I did two workouts today. I did a run and a swim, which were both really terrible workouts, by the way. For some reason, I was just way off today. Um, and then you can see your weekly intensity, which shows you how intense, like what effort did they rate you for that day? And you can compare that to your previous week. And then we can scroll down and we get to our monthly fitness. Now, there's a few key things here that I like to look at that I want to go through. So the first one is my weekly intensity. I can click on that and I can see my relative effort. So how much effort did I use today? They base this on your trim scores, which is based on your heart rate and distance. Um, and so they figure out how much effort did this take and they give you a rating and I can scroll here and see previous weeks. I can they give me a number. And I can see uh, like the little bar graph, how intense they were. So you can see as I scroll through here, just how I compared in various weeks and where I am today. Now, as I said, today's workout was really light and really bad. And then I can actually see my workouts and they show me the score that each one got. So I had eight points today, but we can see last week total, I had 89 points. All right, so that's a cool little, it's relative effort. And I really like this chart because it allows you to see how you compared previously and really helps you gauge how much effort you're putting out per week and per day. All right, pretty cool. Then we scroll down and we have our monthly fitness. And really, this is the fitness and freshness graph. This is the one that you get from other pieces of software. Um, and I just want to I'll compare it to some of the software too. But you can see, looking at my monthly score, looks pretty steady. I've been steadily increasing my fitness. Um, I had an injury about several, six months ago. So I've been slowly increasing my fitness since then. And we can actually see my graph, you'll be able to see that. So you can see over the last month, um, I've increased about 20% um, from the previous month. And you can see the little bubbles here looking at the score. So obviously the higher you go, the more you're increasing. You can see at the beginning of the month I was 10 and now I'm up to 12. If I look at my previous three months, you get a little better picture of what the graph looks like. This is tracking my fitness trend over the last three months. If we look at six months, it's going up even higher. As I said, I was injured. So you can see how, you know, I was injured in the beginning of the year and then I went away in January, you know, the whole mess there. So I had to really come back from almost nothing. Um, and you can see my fitness trend throughout that whole entire time. And then you can look at one year and two years and, you know, you can just make the graph more and more. But the larger the scale is, the bigger the curve is because look at six months it's a very large curve whereas one month is pretty flat um, but this is your fitness and freshness so let's take a look at what this looks like on the web all right so when you log into your strava account what you need to do is you need to click the training tab and you're going to click fitness and freshness and then you're going to see a tab that's going to show you your fitness and freshness. This is the exact same chart um, that I was able to see on the mobile device. But in addition to that, they're going to show me my fatigue and my form. And I can see what those look like in graph format if I would like to show them. I can select if I want this to be all activities, um, power and relative effort, um, what I want it to be. And I can look at like last six months, last year, last three months. And as I said earlier, you know, the more you, uh, the, the longer it's extended out, the more data you can actually see. Okay, 
So that's what this looks like on the web. How does this compare to other software though? So let's take a look. Um, I use a number of software to analyze myself. Uh, I use Garmin, which this is nothing Garmin. I've done videos on that, totally inaccurate. So I'm not even gonna go there. But I also use Runalyze, I use Training Peaks, and I use Golden Cheetah. Let's open up Golden Cheetah and take a look how it compares to Golden Cheetah because I found these other programs are all very consistent with one another. So let's see, so take a look at this chart. Don't pay attention to the numbers because each piece of software is going to use their own numbers. Pay attention to the graph. Does it? This is the last six months. What does it look like? I mean, we can even look at the last three months. It's just notice this and let's take a look at even the last year. You can see basically um, where I started to increase around the end of the year when I was finally recovered from a hip injury that I'd been plaguing me for months. Um, you can see from the beginning of the year, I've slowly increased fitness to where I am now. So let's take a look at Golden Cheetah, see what Golden Cheetah says. All right, so we're in Golden Cheetah. Let me, let's take a look at this chart right here that you can see me scrolling over, metric trends, and this is for the last six months. All right, so let's go to the beginning of the year and you can see this blue line is a nice steady increase. Very similar, if not exactly equivalent to Strava. And it should be because they're both, both based on the same algorithms. Um, so the Strava feature is very similar to anything that you're going to get in other pieces of software. So as far as accuracy goes, I think it's just as accurate as these other pieces of software. Now let's talk about, so that's, that's what you have. That's the data you have in your fitness and freshness. Obviously Strava does a bunch of other things. The point of this video is not to go into those other things. The point of this is to talk about your fitness and freshness, compare it to a few other things. So let's talk about what I like and I don't like. So. What I don't like is the fee <laughs> because I can get this same data. So Golden Cheetah, the program that I have opened up right now on the screen is 100% free. So what I don't like is that there's a fee for something that's also free on the computer. Now, what I should remind the end user though is that the mobile version, there is no mobile version of this Golden Cheetah. If I want this information on my mobile device, which I actually really like because I like to get it real time right after my workout sometimes, um, or just when I'm away from my computer, I'm at the office or something, and I want to take a look at my curves or my data, um, I need a mobile version. The mobile version of Strava, if I, if I want it, I mean, I have to pay because they're, they're online or mobile version you pay for, but there is no other option for me. Like Training Peaks also charges me and it's more money. Um, now they offer a whole other set of features, but to get the, the paywall for the fitness and freshness is more money. So if I want this data at my fingertips on my phone, I'm gonna have to pay for it. Um, if I just want it on my computer and I don't really care, I see no reason to really pay for any of these services because Golden Cheetah offers what they do for free. Um, so do I like the Strava feature? Yes. I give it a thumbs up. I actually really like the stuff that they're doing. I hope they continue to push this forward um, because it is a really, really nice feature to have. I like it. I like how they've implemented it. Um, I like that I can read it as far as like relative effort, compare my weekly scores. Um, I like that I see it as a fitness and freshness graph. Um, I like that everything works really well and is updated rather quickly on my mobile device. And it works well with Garmin, Apple, or whatever device you're using, Strava is very friendly. So as far as it being $60, pretty you know low fee for what you do get. I do like it. Um, so I think it's accurate. I think it's a cool feature. I think Strava's done a good job with it. The only thing I'm hesitant about is the cost. So anyway, that's my review. That, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think of the Strava fitness and freshness um, below. Let me know if you've compared it to any other software, if you think it's worth paying for it or not, or what you're doing and what you're using. Thanks a lot, y'all. Have a good day.